Awesome. Thank you for having me on here. I'm super excited. I'm going to talk about one of my favorite topics today, and that is using essential oils. I use doTERRA um, for anxiety, stress, and just feeling overwhelmed. Um, I am a mom of two kids. They are five and two, and I run a doTERRA business from home. And I'm also a licensed marriage and family therapist and still work part-time doing that. So I am a pretty busy lady and I get overwhelmed. I do. And I have a history of dealing with some anxiety and anxious feelings and um, really have found oils to be so supportive. So if we haven't met yet, I want to introduce myself. My name is Kayla Monson. I am a doTERRA diamond and you can find me on Instagram at my well-oiled life where I share oil tips and tricks every single day. And I have been fortunate to reach the entire world um, talking about these oils. So I really, really enjoy it. So follow me over there if you want to learn even more. But today I'm going to dive into my favorite oils for stress, anxious feelings, feeling overwhelmed, and how you use them. Um, because I know that's a big part of uh, learning about oils is often you know what the oil can do, but you have no clue what you're supposed to do with it. So that's where I come in. I am going to help you with that. And I'm also going to tell you about a few products that are really great to utilize uh, for this topic. So let's start with the different ways to use these oils. And, and with each, I'm going to tell you guys a few of my favorites. There are so many oils that you can use for calming and for stress. And I'm going to encourage you to use a little bit of your intuition as well, because we are all uniquely different. And sometimes what I find calming is not what's going to work for you. And it's not what you find calming. So I want you to know that these oils I'm mentioning are not the only ones and they definitely might not be what you're drawn to. And that's okay. So obviously the number one way that you can use these oils for stress and for anxious feelings is diffusing them. So a diffuser is a really convenient way to pop a few oils in and diffuse them next to you so you're getting that aromatic benefit because we know from scientific research that simply breathing in these aromatic compounds from pure oils really um, connects with our limbic system which regulates our emotion. So it always was so crazy to me that just smelling something can calm you down. But it makes perfect sense when you think about the scientific part and how your nasal cavity is connected to your limbic system, which controls hormones and sleep and emotion. So it makes perfect sense that just by smelling something that is actually um, a pure carbon compound can have that effect on your emotions. So diffusing is super easy. It's a great way to ease into oil use and it's a great way to calm your surroundings, whether your kids are feeling super anxious or just hyper or whatnot, or you're just feeling stressed. Diffusing is a great way to clear that atmosphere of those feelings. Um, and I'm going to tell you a few of my favorites in just a minute. There's a few other ways that you can utilize these oils aromatically. So Oil Life has a lot of different jewelry accessories, but there's one that they have. Um, it's a diffuser necklace. Diffuser necklaces make it so easy. There's little felt uh, pieces that go in these and you just drop your oils on them. And so you have it right here where you can smell it. You can always bring it to your nose. This is really, really great for kids or teenagers that want to have those oils maybe with them at school when, you know, maybe they're having some test anxiety, maybe, you know, they just don't like school and it helps them feel a little bit more calm and um, they enjoy it a little bit better when they're feeling that way. So that's a really great way I found, especially with kids, is having some sort of diffuser jewelry um, and as adults. It can be fancy like this. There's a lot of different ways that you can utilize those with diffuser jewelry. This one is from Oil Life, obviously, and it's a great piece of jewelry for diffusing oils. So other ways that you can utilize them aromatically, simply putting them on your chest. You're going to breathe them in. You're going to smell them. 
there's a thing called a ghetto diffuser, super easy, but you basically take a drop of oil, put it in your hand, rub your hands together, cup them around your mouth and take deep breaths in. So whenever you feel overwhelmed, you feel that um, anxiety coming on, whatever it is for you, you're feeling stressed, take a minute to yourself, do that with your oils and it'll help ground you, it'll help calm and collect you so you can return to what you were doing. So let me talk about a few of my favorite oils for using aromatically. Now, a lot of these are gonna be the same as topical use. So I'm actually going to mesh the two together. Now, let me tell you what I mean by topical use and then I'll go over some of the oils. So topical use is putting them on your body. So when you're using oils, you wanna put them on, in, or around your body is how I like to think about it because that's how you're gonna get it interacting with your body to make changes and to support your body with doing different things. So a few of my favorite ways to use topically, actually my number one way to use topically is to make roller bottles. So Oil Life has a ton of different roller bottles. These are their marble ones. And we have these all around our house. We have blends for my kids. I have blends for me. And what I do is I have them labeled and I take them out whenever we need them. So whether it's your favorite roller bottle blend that you put together for maybe anxious feelings, maybe it's a stress blend, whatever it is for you, and I'm gonna give you a few recipe options, um, you're gonna make a roller. And typically for an adult, I put about 25 to 40 drops total of essential oil and I top the rest off with a carrier oil. I prefer fractionated coconut oil or MTC oil, um, MC, MCT oil, MTC oil, yeah, whichever one. Um, and that's just a great way to dilute it. So my favorite places to roll this on would be over my heart. Oftentimes when you're feeling anxious and overwhelmed, your heart rate goes up. So if you can use oils in that area to help slow things down, that's gonna be beneficial to your stress response. Another way I like to use them is on my forearms. That's a really good way to be able to smell the oils and use them for those um, emotional properties. So you're getting it in your skin. Your skin absorbs everything you put on it. Something to remember. So putting these oils on your skin is really beneficial because it's going to absorb into your bloodstream. So I love to apply again on my heart, on my forearms. I love the back of my neck. Uh, the reason for that is that, you know, if I'm doing it before bedtime, I can smell it when I'm on my pillow. Um, and it's just a really great way to get them into your brain as well because it's close to the brainstem. You can also, for kids, I often like to put them on their spine. It's a really easy way to just go and easily roll it up and down their spine, massage it in, um, even as they're running away from you, whatever they're doing, or on their feet. The feet is just a really great way to get those oils in the body, especially if it's an oil that you find really calms your body, but maybe you hate the smell of it. That does happen, it really does. So. Again, 25 to 40 drops for an adult of essential oil total. So if you're using four oils, you would just divide by that amount. If you have a baby, like zero to one years old, I really only put a drop or two in here. For one to five year olds, I put, you know, five to 10 drops. When you get closer to age one, you can put about four. Um, for 10 and up, you might do 15 drops, um, but adults, 25 to 40. And you may find that some you like more diluted, some you like less diluted. This is not a hard and fast rule. This is just what I use and what works for me. Um, and everybody's different. Some people have more sensitive skin, so they need to dilute more. So just remember those things when you are making your roller bottles. So let's talk about actual oils I would use for both diffusing, or topical use. And so these, these oils can be used either way. I'm gonna go into internal use, but there's actually different oils for the most part and different products that I use for that purpose. So the first thing I want to go over is really to use your intuition. So go look at what oils you have. Which ones are you leaning towards? Open them up. Open up a couple of oils that you think you might find calming. Smell them. How do they make you feel? How do they make, do they make you feel calmer? Do they make you feel energized? It's gonna be a little bit different for everyone. 
So you're gonna wanna pay attention to your body and your needs. Another way to find really great diffuser blends for calming, and I do this all the time, I will go to my oils, I will pick two to three different oils, I will hold them under my nose like this, and I'll smell them together. And do I like the smell? Am I really not feeling that smell? And sometimes choosing a diffuser blend can be that easy. I think that we tend to overcomplicate oil use a lot of the time, and we really need to look at simplifying it because anybody can use these oils safely with just some common sense, and it doesn't have to be complicated figuring out which oils calm your body. Let me give you some tips. So there are so many calming oils. Some of my favorites are Balance, which is the grounding blend. Great for grounding your body, for bringing you back into the present, and for that feeling of stress. It helps oxygenate your blood. Sometimes when we're feeling down or stressed, our blood cells actually clump together and we feel restless or we feel really um, just lethargic. And so balance can actually help wake them up a little bit, which is gonna help your mood. Other ones that I love would be um, Copaiba. Copaiba is amazing for calming the central nervous system. It actually helps tell your central nervous system to support it, to calm it down. So what happens when we're feeling overwhelmed or we're having anxious feelings in our body is oftentimes our heart rate rises. We might sweat a little bit. We might feel short of breath. We might feel a little panicky. Um, and what's amazing about Copaiba is that it's one of the best oils for calming that response down, which tells your brain, you know what, you're fine. You're feeling good, you're feeling calm and your whole body recalibrates to that. So it's really, really interesting, the science behind these oils and what they really can do on a physio physiological level for our brains and our bodies. And there's a ton of science on that. You can check out the doTERRA science blog. You can go to pubmed.org and read more about that. But I just wanted to mention it. Other oils are wild orange. I know it's typically very energizing, but it's actually also very calming. So if you are somebody that hates lavender, I personally love lavender. I use it for calming all the time, especially for my kids. Uh, wild orange is a good alternative. If you find that lavender really hypes you up, I want to encourage you to use wild orange instead. And what I want to say too is that these oils that I'm mentioning for the stress response, um, also great for feeling overwhelmed, also great for anxious feelings, really they all kind of can be used for all of those things. They are not only great for adults, they're great for kids too. So don't feel like you're limited to these are the ones you use for yourself. I want you to feel that um, these can be interchangeable. Either use them on yourself or your children, see what they respond best to. Uh, again, you just dilute a little bit differently for kids. They're smaller, they don't need as high of an amount. So other oils that are great, I'm just gonna mention a few and then we'll talk about some blends. Um, Peace Blend is great for hyperactivity, calming, if you're feeling agitated, that kind of thing. Maybe you're feeling a little angry. Peace is a really great blend to put over the heart, um, put on your forearms, diffuse, those kinds of things. Frankincense. Frankincense is a big one. Frankincense actually crosses a blood-brain barrier, and so it can be a really um, great oil for your brain to help with some of that activity that might be going on um, that is making you feel overwhelmed or stressed or whatnot. Uh, again, lavender. Another one that's great to use aromatically is actually peppermint, um, which I know sounds a little counterintuitive because peppermint is really great for energy and it's really invigorating. However, when you are feeling short of breath or you're kind of in panic mode, which happens to all of us um, frequently sometimes, especially when you're feeling overwhelmed, it can really just help slow your breathing down a little bit. You'll find if you add a drop of peppermint to your hands, you rub it together, you breathe it in, your, your whole respiratory system just opens up and it actually can help slow that breathing down a little bit. So that may not be the case for everybody because again, everybody is different, but definitely try it out. A few others that I love, Magnolia. Oh, Magnolia is a very high in a chemical we call linalool. 
And linalool is known for its calming effects on both the central nervous system and just the overall body. So magnolia is an amazing, amazing oil that doesn't get talked about enough that is great for calming that stress response. And it comes in a really convenient roller. You, so you can roll it right over your heart. You can roll it on your forearms, breathe it in. And it's just really, really a great, great oil for feeling overwhelmed, feeling stressed, having anxious feelings. And I'm mentioning those all together because they often go together. Uh, when you're feeling overwhelmed, you often have anxious feelings. When you're feeling stressed, you're feeling overwhelmed. Like those are kind of just the same words to describe a similar feeling. And all of these oils really work on all of those different things. So that general sense of feeling overwhelmed, stressed, or experiencing some anxiety, these are all my go-to oils for that. Um, another one is rose. Um, I personally find rose very, very calming, and as well as jasmine and neroli. And what's really interesting about these floral oils is that they have a really profound effect on our brain. So rose is actually really good for supporting a neurotransmitter we have called serotonin. If you don't know much about serotonin, it is um, a chemical in our brain that actually helps us feel happy and our general sense of happiness and well-being. And so when that is low, we feel pretty low. Um, so what Rose does is it's an actual, um, it supports serotonin in the, in the body and the, in the brain. A really interesting thing for you guys to know is that most of our neurotransmitter receptors, which is where um, the serotonin and other things like GABA and um, norepinephrine and, and those kind of chemicals that are considered neurotransmitters, most of those neurotransmitters are actually in our gut. So sometimes applying some of these oils over the gut can be really beneficial to those neuro neurotransmitters and supporting them. So again, those floral oils like rose and jasmine and neroli are super, super amazing for supporting different neurotransmitters in our body. So they're great ones to utilize when it comes to mood support overall. Um, other great ones are marjoram, Siberian fir, and patchouli. All of these are incredibly calming. Um, it's really funny because there are so many. I could probably pick 10 more right now, but these are the ones that I find myself using that I find really work for me, work for my children as well. So I wanna tell you about a few blends that I love to use topically. So my number one most favorite blend ever, 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 is a blend of Balance, Serenity, Wild Orange, and Copaiba. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I love using those. They are just amazing together. Can I take a drink of water from all the talking? So, I normally do equal parts. Um, about eight drops of each would be great. Again, that's Balance, the grounding blend, Serenity, which is our sleep blend, also known as Lavender Peace in some of the other countries that you might be in, Copaiba, and Wild Orange. Those are, again, my top oil, my top personal oils for stress and overwhelm because they work fabulous for me. So that is my number one, number one blend. Other blends that I love is I will do a blend of um, Siberian fir, patchouli, and balance. So I do about eight to 10 drops of each, actually 10 to 12 drops of each in a 10 milliliter roller. You can cut that in half if you're doing a five milliliter. Another one I wanted to share was um, I will actually open my magnolia roller so that I can utilize some of the magnolia and I'll double or triple my normal amount of drops. So if I normally would do 10 drops, I'll do 30 because it's already diluted. So I love to mix magnolia with serenity and I also mix in, so it's magnolia, serenity, copaiba, 
And I think that's it. Those are the three that I mix. And that one is uber calming as well. So any of those that I mentioned, if you have any of those, maybe you have three of the ones that I mentioned, use those three. A lot of people have a very simple mix of lavender, balance, and wild orange. So you can do 10 to 12 drops of those in a roller for stress, for anxious feelings, that kind of thing. A lot of people, if you have the basic starter kit from doTERRA, you have peppermint, or I'm sorry, not peppermint, um, you do have that, but frankincense and lavender. So out of the top 10 kit, frankincense and lavender are the two that I would incorporate for these things. So you could even make a blend of 15 to 20 drops of each in a roller and utilize that. The really cool part is that not only are these oils super calming, but they're great to use before bed. Because often, if you are somebody that is worrying a lot or feeling overwhelmed, that's gonna come up when it gets really quiet and when it's time to calm down and go to bed. So these are great oils to use to really shut your brain down a little bit so that you can go to sleep and rest better. So again, I mentioned a lot of different oils and I really wanna give you all my cat back there. <laughs> uh, apparently he wants to be part of this. So I really want to give you all um, permission to play with them a little bit. Figure out what you like. You can blend any of these oils together, any of them. It really doesn't matter. Just use the ones that when you smell, you feel calm. If you smell it and it makes you feel really energized or antsy, that might not be the right oil to use when you are feeling overwhelmed. So just something to think about. One last thing I wanna mention is hormones. So something that happens to a lot of us women is that we feel more stressed or naturally more anxious when our hormones are not balanced or we are maybe going into that time of the month. So you might need to watch your body a little bit to know if this is you. But if you are somebody that feels like your hormones really pay, play a big part in your mood, you're gonna wanna incorporate this blend. It's called Clary Calm, it's a blend for women. And you're gonna wanna be using this on your lower abdomen, over your ovary area, every day. Because this is really gonna help support, balance those hormones, which is going to then help your mood. And when we, we're going to go into internal use next, and I have something else for you to utilize for that hormone support, but definitely incorporate the Clary Calm. A lot of people find this blend by itself incredibly calming. It's a lot of floral oils, which I mentioned are really, really great for the brain and really, really great for that sense of um, feeling calm and collected and those kinds of things. Before we move on to internal use, I want to mention a really good resource. So there is this book called Emotions and Essential Oils. This is the newest edition, and Oil Life does carry this book. It's actually where I got it. And this book is pretty amazing. So if you are somebody that really wants to understand emotionally why you're drawn to an oil or what oil may be good for evoking a certain emotion, you're going to want to get your hands on this book. And the reason why is that it goes through every single oil that doTERRA carries, including the blends, and it tells you what the emotional underpinning of the oil is. So for instance, magnolia is the oil of compassion. So let me just, um, just tell you a little bit about what it says. So when you look up an oil, you're gonna see the name and then what it means. So magnolia is the oil of compassion. So the negative emotions that you're often wanting to use magnolia for is feeling disconnected, numb, lonely, isolated, withdrawn, unkind. So what it does is it helps you feel more connected, compassionate, unified, thoughtful, insightful, uh, perceptive, respectful, and kind. And then it tells you what the companion oils are. So what oils blend very nicely with magnolia? So examples are myrrh, rose, cedarwood, marjoram, arborvitae, and some suggested uses. So applying over the heart or the crown of the head. So this is a really amazing book. I find it incredibly fascinating. And so I have had periods, you know, in my journey, if you are doing doTERRA as a business, you know that some days are not as fun as others. You still love your job, but there's more barriers that come in. And 
sometimes you just question uh, yourself a little bit. And so I have actually gone to this book to make a roller for myself that helps me with things like um, stepping into a leadership role and experiencing more abundance and self-love for myself. So I've looked up what oils are really good for helping yourself feel accepted and loved. So oils like bergamot and wild orange are ones that popped up, patchouli. So it's a really amazing resource when you're really trying to figure out emotionally which oil you should be utilizing. So I wanna encourage you if this is something you're interested in, I would definitely get this book and read through it um, because it's really interesting to understand why you might be attracted to a certain oil or not attracted to a certain oil uh, when it comes to its mood properties. So that has been a really interesting way that I've been able to kind of um, figure out oils for emotions a little bit better. I know what works just based on reading about them in my Essential Life book and learning about them on the science blog and their different chemical components that make them either calming or uplifting. So I've definitely learned a lot of that um, just through my research and also using my oils. I would say the best way to figure out what to use is to use your oils. Because like I said, we are all uniquely different. So what works for me may not work for you, but there are general oils that tend to work for most people. And those are the ones that I mentioned. So the next thing I want to talk to you about is internal use. So if you utilize doTERRA oils, you know that our oils can be used safely internally in small amounts. I would never encourage you to use another brand of oils internally or topically for that matter because of how much variation there is on the market and how many adulterated oils there are out there that can be unsafe. But with, with uh, doTERRA oils, there are several amazing, amazing oils that you can use and products internally that are really, really gonna support your body if you are feeling chronically stressed, if you are always overwhelmed, if you just have anxious feelings all the time that you can't get to go away. These are the things that I would really focus on. So the number one thing that I could suggest would be the Lifelong Vitality Pack Supplements. And if you follow me over on Instagram, you know that this is often my number one suggestion for most things. Because when your diet is not sufficient in certain areas, your mood suffers. So unfortunately, we don't often get the nutrients that we need from our food. So the supplements are a really great way to supplement what we need. And they've done a lot of research on this. And they've also added oils, including frankincense, which is really, really great for the brain and that mood support component. So I have found personally that the Lifelong Vitality Pack has made a tremendous difference in any mood difficulties that I'm having. So other products, um, again, if you feel like your mood changes are due to hormones, you're gonna to wanna to incorporate what's called the phytoestrogen, which is one of our supplements, because sometimes what happens is your body gets overloaded with um, what we call xenoestrogens, which are bad estrogen that mimic estrogen in your body, but they're actually chemically based. And, and you get them from um, just coming in contact with toxins. Anybody can get them, no matter how healthy they believe that they are. And so, the phytoestrogen goes in and actually helps get rid of that so that your body can produce actual estrogen that's beneficial. And that can really benefit your mood if there is a hormonal element to it. So that's something I really wanna encourage you to, to utilize, especially if you are noticing that you feel more overwhelmed, more stressed, more mood issues, right around that your cycle for women. Um, phytoestrogen can also be a really great uh, supplement for men as well. Uh, we don't often think about that, but I know a lot of men that use it and it works very, very well for them. So as far as internal use, those are the supplements I wanted to mention. And then I have a few oils that I love for stress, anxious feelings. The way that you can take them is in a veggie capsule. You just break it open and then you can drop the oils in. And Oil Life sells these really handy tops. This is my vetiver. It is a great oil to use internally if you are feeling super overwhelmed or agitated because it 
is it's almost sedating, uh, but it won't always, you know, make you fall asleep or anything like that, but it can calm you down so that you're not feeling agitated. Um, and vetiver is a really thick oil, so it's much easier for me to use the dropper with it. Now, some people prefer to use droppers for anything that they are putting in a veggie capsule because it can be hard to line up. I use so many veggie capsules that I can easily just line it up and drop it in, but know that there's an option for getting these. They're very, very cost effective to put on your oils. So the other way that you can do them is you can drop them directly under your tongue, either with the dropper directly under your tongue or with the bottle. Um, just make sure you know how fast certain oils come out so that you only get a couple of drops. Um, and then obviously you can add them to water and drink them. Now the difference between putting them under your tongue or taking them in a capsule is that when you put them under your tongue, tongue sublingually, they absorb at a much higher rate. So when it goes through a veggie cap, it goes through your stomach. And so some of that gets broken down. Not that that's a bad thing, but you're going to have a more immediate effect putting it under your tongue. And you're probably going to get, um, you're going to see a bigger result. So maybe just kind of decide what's better for you, what, what taste you can handle and what you can't. So my number one oil for feeling stressed, feeling overwhelmed, that kind of thing, um, to use internally is copaiba. Huge, 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 huge. It's almost like instant calm when I'm having, having those bad days where I'm just kind of overwhelmed and having trouble focusing and I need to calm the overwhelm so that I can get stuff done. And I typically will just put one or two drops under my tongue several times a day as I need it. Um, you can use the gel capsules again or you can also put it in a veggie cap and take it that way. Totally whatever feels most comfortable for you. The second oil I love to use internally uh, for this reason is frankincense. Like I said, frankincense crosses the blood brain barrier and it is amazing for our mood and balancing our mood. So you can even take the copaiba and the frankincense together, just a drop or two of each, maybe morning and night. I would suggest that you're using these regularly. If you are feeling constantly overwhelmed, then your body constantly needs that support and you need to be constantly giving it that support. So what you're going to find with oils is especially internal use. And if you're wanting to see major changes in your body, you're going to need to be using daily a couple times a day, generally. Um, if you're just wanting that immediate effect and you want to use topically, great, but know that you're probably going to have to reapply. Um, oils are not the same as medicine where it lasts for 12 hours and then you take another pill. You have to keep listening to your body and what it needs and you need to keep reapplying. And so sometimes if you're feeling like maybe panicked or whatnot, you might need to be using, put, applying that oil topically every five minutes, a couple of times until you're feeling good again. And then maybe two hours later you need it again. So know that that happens and know that sometimes you just need to be really consistent with it to get the best result. So the other oil that I want to mention using internally, and a lot of people don't think of it, is uh, Melissa oil. So I realize this isn't a one that everybody has, but Melissa is amazing when it comes to anxious feelings. Um, a lot of people have done experiments with this where they've used a drop of Melissa under their tongue every single day and they have seen tremendous differences in their mood. So I wanna encourage you to try this as another option if you've tried other things and they haven't worked for you. Melissa is a really, really great oil to utilize in that way. And just a drop under your tongue every day can be a huge support to your body and helping it handle stress better. So you may not need these oils because you're a mess. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that when we feel stressed, whether it's good stress, I mean, getting married is really stressful, but in a good way, right? So when we feel really stressed though, our body takes a huge toll. So you guys have read, I'm sure, a lot of the different things that are out there. When you're feeling stressed, it can lead to hypertension and high cholesterol and, and all of these different things that can happen when your body's under chronic stress all the time. And that doesn't matter whether it's good or bad stress, um, whether it's so many good things happening and you're just busy and going all the time, 
or it's a lot of bad things happening, or maybe you don't like your job or whatever it is for you. Um, utilizing these oils doesn't have to mean that your mood's all over the place. It can simply mean that maybe you're under stress and you want to manage that stress response better because when you do, your body feels better. And it, we know that stress is like the number one reason for so many different health conditions out there. So that's why I'm often talking on my Instagram account about oils for stress and overwhelm because when we deal with feeling stressed on a daily basis, our body has a huge response in a good way. Because what happens is over time, those little periods of stress add up and, and do some damage to your body. So utilizing oils to really calm you down is going to be a huge benefit. And so I really, really want you encur to encourage you to utilize a lot of the oils that I've talked about today. And I hope that this was helpful to those of you out there that are rewatching this and that this gives you some ideas and some tools to really be able to feel empowered that when something comes up or doesn't go your way, that you can help yourself feel better and you can help balance yourself a little bit better. And hopefully um, you'll start to see all of the changes that so many of us out there have seen use, utilizing these oils on a daily and consistent basis. And I want to encourage you too to utilize them with your children, um, to take out the lavender or the balance and dilute it and massage a little bit on their spine before bed or when they're feeling really cranky or just arguing with you all day because sometimes kids do that. Another way you can use them, take a quarter cup of Epsom salts or a half cup, add a drop or two of oil and throw it in their bath. I do that all the time when my kids are acting a little bit crazy and it's been a bad day and I just need them to calm down and get along. That is one of my biggest mommy tricks is throwing them in a warm bath with some Epsom salts and some oils. And let me tell you, it does a trick every time. And this mom gets the aromatic benefits of being next to that bath with all the essential oils in it. So there's a lot of different ways to use them and there's a lot of different oils you can try. Don't feel like you need to have them all. Utilize what you have. So if you only have one of the ones I've talked about, try it out. If you have two, try them out. See what works best for you. And hopefully it helps you feel a lot better. So if you um, want to connect with me, feel free to hop on over to Instagram at my well-oiled life or on Facebook. I am at my well-oiled life.net. I also have a web page, which is mywelloiledlife.net, and I also have a YouTube account. You can find the links to all of these from my Instagram page at mywelloiledlife, and feel free to follow me there if you want more tips and tricks on how to utilize your doTERRA oils in your home to get the best benefit, or if you ever want information on getting started, please feel free to reach out. So thank you so much for having me on today. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for those of you that rewatched this, I hope you took a lot of notes. I hope you got a lot of really great, amazing information out of it and that it was helpful to you. I will see you all again soon.